Hi guys, welcome back to Corona Family Channel. I'm gonna show you how to make great guacamole and enjoy it three different ways. If you wanna do this for your family, stay tuned so I can show you how to do this step by step. All right guys, so before I start, I wanna thank Avocados de Mexico. Avocados de Mexico imports all the fresh avocados from Mexico to Canada. And also, they sent me this really nice shirt. Oh, wow. Avocados de Mexico, thank you so much. Who wouldn't want an avocado straight from Mexico? Like, come on. All right, you guys wanna see a trick? Something really cool? As soon as I say avocado, guess what happens? Ready? Avocado! Hi! Where did you come from? Huh? She loves avocado. You like it? Yeah. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. The best thing about guacamole is that vegetarian, vegan, you're good to go. Alright, Team Guac, after you have removed the seed from your avocados, you basically just want to grab a spoon, go in, and just scoop it out. As you can see here, I got around five to six avocados. All right guys, so our vegetables have been all cut. We have tomato, onion, cilantro, jalapeno, garlic, and lime juice. And of course, the star of the show, Aguacate, avocado. This is my recipe. This is the basic way of making a really good guacamole. This is basically your, your beginner starter pack. Renegade, renegade, renegade. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna start putting in our ingredients. We're gonna start with the tomato. When you're making your guacamole, there's actually no rules of making guacamole. It's up to your preference, your like, your taste. So no, there's no measurements, no guidelines. You just do what you like and you do what you do. And the, you know what the thing is? My daughters and myself and my wife, we love our guacamole really sour. So I put as much lime juice as I can. Salt. Pepper. This is for mashed potato, but it, it all it, it would work. It can work and it has to work. You're gonna mash and mash and mash. And you can see right away, look at that. Mmm, it's looking really good. I wish there was I wish you could really smell this. It smells so good. You know, in Mexico guacamole is like every household, every taco store, every there's a guacamole everywhere. And of course, you can't have guacamole without avocado. So, gracias Mexico for making the best avocado. You can always add more salt and pepper. Oh, this is really good. The important thing is to, as soon as you're done with it, to put it in the fridge. If you don't put it in the fridge, the avocado might turn brown. I'm gonna show you guys how my family likes Guacamole three different ways. Okay, our first one is tacos de chicharrón con guacamole. It's very simple. You just buy pork rinds. You throw in your pork rinds in your tortilla. We love to use corn tortillas. Right, you throw in your tortilla like that. And then you throw, grab a nice dab of guac. Like that. Of course, can't be a Mexican taco without the lime juice. And they also make vegetarian rinds, like vegetarian um, style pork rinds. So let's keep a look out on the stores for those. Throw in your lime juice. And you close it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how good this is. Mm. 
Mm, oh, really good. Super simple, super easy to do. It's got such a good crunch and flavor to it. Okay, we'll show you guys the next recipe. Okay, next, for a Mexican breakfast, you need three simple ingredients. You need a tostada, which you can buy or you can actually make this yourself. And then the next one you're gonna need is a fried egg. And you're just gonna throw it on top. And then the last piece, the star of the show, a big dollop of guacamole. Look how beautiful that is. You can also add refried beans if you like, but my girls don't really like that, so I don't put it. And also, you can't forget the lime, because we love lime. Okay, now let's give this a try. Mmm. That was really good. Mmm. Mmm. Right, we have one more to show you guys. The last and final way you can have your guacamole, super simple, you need one ingredient, chips. And you want to get the chips that are scooped so you can get more guacamole at one time, right? So you go in there, just look at that, yeah? It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. And, you can also wash it down with a nice cold beer. This is good for any party, any event, even just for a regular night, you know, you guys are watching a movie, hey, let's make some guacamole. You can actually have fun making guacamole. Make sure you use Mexican avocados. Make sure. <laughs> All right guys, so that's it. I want to thank you so much for dropping by watching my aguacate special. So make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. And give us a like. Okay everyone, from Corona Family Channel, we wanna say thank you. Check out our Instagram. Bye. Say bye. 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 Bye.